Before we jump into the declaration, it is essential to figure out what atom gas pedals are. The Gigantic Hadron Collider, LHC, built by CERN, is a 17-meter ring of superconducting magnets. Correspondingly, it is the world's most significant and most powerful iota smasher. It represents the pinnacle of human accomplishment. Truly, it's so powerful that it could replicate the specific conditions of the first second of the universe. But could this machine, intended to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something else? The role of CERN. CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most famous research institutions, with 23 member states and numerous scientists. It is a place for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CERN's central project, but it is just one part of a vast network of gas pedals and experiments. Imagine a track not for cars or people but for subatomic particles. In a grand experiment of magnitude, perseverance, and space itself, the LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy of the universe just after the Big Bang. These collisions generate temperatures much hotter than the core of the Sun. A massive number of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The beams inside the LHC are designed to collide at four specific points around the accelerator ring, connecting with four particle detectors. Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector serves a unique purpose, investigating different aspects of particle physics. Together they act like giant cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the debris, searching for traces of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other anomalies that could reveal the fundamental building blocks of the universe. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. However, with each answer comes another question, and with every discovery, a new challenge arises. The power and peril of the LHC. The LHC is not just a scientific instrument. It is a testament to human curiosity and progress. It represents our relentless quest for knowledge and our desire to understand the fundamental forces shaping our universe. However, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the deeper, existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Could our quest for knowledge inadvertently unleash forces beyond our control? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are continuously tested, a discovery has emerged that sends shivers down the spine of even the most seasoned scientists. The Chilling Warning of Brian Cox Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a respected voice in particle physics, recently made a statement that has left the world both fascinated and uneasy. His words resonate with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a miniature Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly, a small-scale version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist further explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's unparalleled potential for groundbreaking discoveries. This includes its ability to uncover the secrets of the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine harnessing the power of creation, the ability to summon the very essence of the universe. It is a tantalizing possibility, but one fraught with danger, a miniature Big Bang and its risks. The mini Big Bang is not a mere theoretical concept. It is a tangible phenomenon within the LHC. The temperatures, the pressures, the raw energy. Everything replicates the conditions of the universe's birth. It is akin to standing at the dawn of time, witnessing the emergence of existence itself. But with such power comes responsibility. The looming question remains. What if something goes wrong? The tragic case of Anatoly Bugorsky. Indeed, something did go wrong in 1978. Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophe that forever changed his life. While working on the UB-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Pratvino, Russia, a failure caused his head to accidentally enter the direct path of a proton beam. The beam, with an unimaginable force, passed through his skull, entering through the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky saw a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no immediate pain. 
The aftermath was both horrifying and astonishing. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning tissue and bone. Yet, he remained conscious and even walked to the medical center for treatment. The consequences were severe. Localized tissue damage, hearing loss in one ear, and partial facial paralysis. Astonishingly, Bugorsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. His experience serves as a sobering reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The threat of a man-made black hole. The dangers of a particle collider like the LHC should not be underestimated. The potential for catastrophic reactions, the very fabric of reality being altered, is not the stuff of science fiction but a genuine concern raised by respected scientists. One of the most unsettling yet intriguing fears surrounding the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. They are cosmic vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, and enigmatic entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could produce such a phenomenon, even on a tiny scale, is both astonishing and terrifying. Could this black hole grow out of control, consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have reassured the public that any black holes created would be unstable and would disappear quickly. However, the mere possibility has sparked debates, fears, and awe at the power we wield. The science behind the fear. To understand how the LHC could create a black hole, we must examine the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it distorts the fabric of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight, then dropping a heavy object onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a deep well that pulls in everything nearby. This analogy mirrors what could happen in the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are both bizarre and wondrous, there is a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a small black hole. A warning from Stephen Hawking. This strange dance of particles even captured the attention of some of the most esteemed scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned of a scenario where the the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels. This precariousness could prompt a devastating event known as a vacuum rot, an event that wouldn't just destroy the Earth but might actually annihilate the entire universe. The esteemed English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future possibilities for humanity, he explored the potential risks of particle collider experiments, including those at CERN. His words weren't merely cautious. They were filled with a sense of existential dread. He examined a worst-case scenario where a failed experiment could trigger a phase transition that would ripple through the fabric of space-time, resulting in a catastrophe that could consume the entire universe. Rees' concerns weren't confined to theoretical speculation. While he assigned a low probability to these catastrophic outcomes, he argued that even a small chance warranted serious consideration. The stakes are unimaginably high, and the margin for error is razor thin. Scientists at CERN have run simulations, analyzed theories, and taken extensive precautions to ensure the safety of the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. In fact, Physicist Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of these measures, recognizing the inevitable concerns and questions surrounding the LHC's activities. He emphasized that strict safety protocols, comprehensive reviews, and meticulous procedures are in place to ensure the LHC's operations are conducted with the highest level of diligence. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within what the Earth naturally experiences and that the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists assert that it would be so minuscule and unstable that it would quickly dissipate in a burst of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking called Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, a brief glimpse into the abyss before vanishing. Some have taken these ideas even further, 
speculating that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. While this notion is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captivated the imagination of many and become a subject of fascination, fear, and even legend. What lies beyond our universe? Could we accidentally unleash forces or entities that we don't understand? The idea of opening a gateway to hell has even been sensationalized in various media, stirring up uncertainty. But how did this concept originate, and what does it mean for scientific exploration? The notion of extra dimensions is not new in physics. String theory, a leading candidate for a unified theory of everything, suggests that there may be more than the usual three dimensions of space and one of time. These additional dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception but could, in theory, be accessed or revealed under extreme conditions. Now, imagine the LHC as a massive key unlocking doors that have been sealed since the dawn of history. When protons collide at energies never before achieved on Earth, they could, in principle, create ripples or waves that probe these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC could indeed reveal them. However, before we get carried away with wild speculation, it is important to understand that while the LHC is certainly powerful, there is no definitive evidence to suggest it will create a portal to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Nevertheless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the enigmatic nature of quantum physics, ensures that such ideas will continue to captivate the public imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential dangers? It's easy to be swept away by sensational headlines and fears of global catastrophe. But in reality, the scientists at CERN are acutely aware of the risks involved. They have taken every precaution to ensure that experiments are safe and continue to monitor and assess their work with the highest level of scrutiny. The potential benefits of this research, the breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, and the exploration of dark matter, are truly remarkable. The LHC is not only a testament to human ingenuity but also a window into the very heart of the universe. However, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its share of risks. We should approach it with a balance of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the frontier of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe, such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unparalleled. Yet, despite rigorous safety measures and detailed simulations, the LHC still evokes a sense of mystery and fear in some. The sheer scale of the machine and the energy it generates are awe-inspiring, and each new experiment pushes the boundaries of human knowledge into uncharted scientific territory. While most scientists remain confident in the safety of LHC experiments, there are undeniable uncertainties. What if new, unforeseen anomalies arise that challenge our understanding of physics and the laws of the universe? The LHC pushes the limits of human knowledge and tests our control over the natural world. As particle collisions recreate conditions unseen since the Big Bang, the significance of these experiments raises existential questions about the potential consequences of manipulating the very fabric of the universe. Nonetheless, the LHC's contributions to particle physics have been groundbreaking. It led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the Standard Model, and paved the way for potential breakthroughs that may one day shape our technological future. Still, the quest for knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its experiments delve into realms of physics where intuition no longer applies. For centuries, physicists have sought to understand the fundamental forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, each playing a crucial role in the formation of matter. As the LHC continues to operate and expand its research, the questions it raises become increasingly profound. With every discovery, the need for ethical considerations grows. The ability to manipulate and comprehend the fundamental building blocks of matter has far-reaching implications, not just for science but for society as a whole. If the LHC unlocks the secrets of the universe, how will this knowledge be used? Will it be harnessed for peaceful purposes? or could it be exploited for destructive means? Moreover, 
the LHC represents an extraordinary collaboration among nations and scientists. Its success depends on the teamwork of thousands of individuals, all striving toward a common goal, to answer the most profound questions about existence. The work being done at CERN isn't just about understanding the past, it's about paving the way for future generations to unlock even greater mysteries. Advances in technology and computing, often a byproduct of these. Experiments can lead to breakthroughs in fields beyond particle physics. Despite the risks, the pursuit of knowledge remains an inherent part of human nature. With each step forward, we continue to push the boundaries of what we know, striving for a deeper understanding of the universe that surrounds us, no matter how small or vast the potential consequences may be.